Whether you choose to sell your product through marketplace or your own website, there are pros and cons to each option. Your decision should be based on your business goals, resources, and long-term strategy. However, I have two key points to highlight. Number one, price. In a marketplace, uh, the high competition from other sellers often leads to price wars and reduce profitability, not to mention the fees and commissions involved. As an artist, I think it's important to price our art fairly, reflecting its true value. If you make your own website, you have the freedom to showcase your art and build a unique brand identity, allowing you to set a fair price without pressure of competing with others. Number two, the marketing and traffic. Marketplaces offer many advantages, such as access to large audience, built-in trust and credibility, SEO benefits, and marketing efforts handled for you. Um, there are also generally easy to use. In contrast with our own website, we need to manage all aspects of marketing and traffic generation ourselves, which can be more challenging and resource intensive. At the end of the day, it comes back to you. Which one do you think is better? I currently have a website with Squarespace which has been running for about one and a half years however none of the available payment processors work in indonesia which was a mistake on my part i didn't check before i hit subscription button don't do that that's why i opted for shopify starter to set up a simple store um, once my Squarespace subscription ends, I plan to move my website to Shopify and upgrade the plan. That's why it is very important to do the research before committing on any subscription. For the shipping, I cannot speak about international shipping yet because I'm setting up my store for shipping within Indonesia only. I don't have any online store before and it's gonna be my first one. So I approach it with a humble mindset where I will get used to the domestic first and slowly slowly expand the shipping because anyway now I cannot enable third-party calculated rates at checkout to help me calculate the international shipping which will be more complicated than domestic one to be able to use the CCS or carrier calculated shipping, I have to upgrade um, the plan into Shopify AdFunds or Shopify Plus plan. That will cost a lot more. Now, with the starter plan, I only pay $5 a month and I think it's a breeze just to get your feet wet. Number three, determining who produces the product. This is really up to you. Personally, since I'm just starting out and haven't had a store before, I choose to use a service for making my art prints. This way, I don't have to worry about buying a special printer, getting all the necessary supplies, or figuring out the printer settings. This would add significant costs, which are much higher than using a print shop service. Of course, once my business running smoothly and I gain more experience, I would love to buy my own printer and start producing art prints by myself. I 
ordered a limited number of art prints as samples so I could take product photos. This way, prospective buyers can really see the quality of what they're about to purchase. I try to take pictures from different angles, both far away and close up. Currently, I only have a few art prints in stock. I prefer not to order in bulk in case some prints don't sell well. I'm fortunate to have found a print shop that can deliver the product just a day after receiving my order. So it helped me so much. Number 5. Packing Idea and Branding I firmly believe that well thought and beautiful packaging makes a difference. Personally, I always feel delighted when I purchase something and it comes in attractive packaging. It shows that the seller genuinely loves and cares about their customers and their business. Packaging is also a crucial part of branding. For my brand, I want it to look that it is classic, simple, clean, and beautiful. I choose peach as my brand color. It is everywhere in my website, in my packaging, and my brand sticker. I practiced wrapping my art prints several times until I was happy with the results. It's also important to ensure the art stays safe during delivery. And that's why items like plastic sleeves, cardboard, and do not bend stickers are important. I wanted to share that I'm really nervous about opening this shop, but I know it's a necessary step to build a professional art career. If I can do it, you can too. This video is part one of the starting an art store business series. There will be two videos in total, with the next and final one coming out just before my shop launches. I cannot wait to share it with you. As always, thank you for being here. I appreciate your support so much. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I will see you again soon. Take care.